Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jack here with yet another four-string cigar box guitar lesson. This is by request, it's the Who and Summertime Blues. We're tuned to open G, so this is an A string tuned down to G, a D string tuned normal to D, and another G string tuned normal to G, and a B string tuned normal to B. That's a very common open G tuning for a four string. G, D, G, B. All right, this song has some pretty simple one finger bar chords. The tough part is you're gonna be jumping around kind of fast on this particular song. We're gonna start out on the second fret, which is an A chord. Then we're gonna to go to the seventh fret. So if this is an A, then this would be a B and a C and then a D. So it's A, D, E, G, G sharp, and then A. So. The tricky part is it's pretty fast during this part. So let's start out slow. Notice how I'm putting a click in there after that first chord. Coming back on the up. real important to do a down up strum on this particular riff and some strums you're not actually strumming I mean some down movements you're not actually strumming you're skipping the strings so I'll show you what I'm talking about notice how I skipped an up right there the idea is that you want to do a constant down up down up strum you may not be hitting the strings on the down, you may be hitting them on the up, but you're still doing down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'll give you an example. We'll start out real slow. Notice there are some down strums that I'm skipping and there are some up strums that I'm skipping. I'm still moving my hand down, up, down, up, but I'm not always hitting the strings. One more time real slow. Notice how I did a click on the down and a chord on the up. And then I came back on the up again. Why? Because I don't want to do a strum there. There's no strum. I'm overemphasizing that big circle there. So you can see that there's no downstream. So from this part, it's down, up, down, up. Notice how I skipped another down there. Now this can be real confusing if you write down which ones are ups and which ones are downs and all that stuff. The idea is that you want to have a smooth movement and you don't want to change direction with your strum pattern. Right here I'm partially muting way back here at the bridge. So here's the strumming without muting. Nice and bright. And here's the partially muted chord. You're also hammering here, which is a little bit tricky if you haven't done it before. You have to press down real hard with your first finger. Some people use their third finger, but as you can tell, I didn't do so good there because I'm on the third fret. Normally, you're going to be using one finger per fret most of the time when you play a cigar box guitar. But you're not going to be doing it on this part. You're going to be doing one finger on the first fret. And the next finger is going to be on the second fret. Now, I use my third finger there, which might confuse you even more. The reason I use my third finger there is because it's much stronger to slam down. And it's harder to slam down way down here at the nut. It's much easier to slam down up here but it's harder down here. So I use my first finger on the first fret and my third finger on the second fret. Because my 
third finger is much stronger from playing six string bar chords and so forth. Even then I have to press down pretty hard because I'm right there before the, the uh, nut and my strings are a little bit high. So whatever works best for you, you don't have to do your first finger and then your third finger. That's just how I do it. All right, back to the top. Now let me do that one more time slow. Even slower. syncopation going on here in other words some funky strums that's pretty much the whole song right there and I would recommend you playing along with the record on that first riff start out slow which means you can't play with the record and then speed up to the point where you can play with the record but your accuracy is important too so if you look at my right hand Notice how some of those downstrokes I'm absolutely skipping. Right there. So if I do this big old circle, that's the strum that is skipping the down, and I'm coming back on the up. Of course, you don't have to play it like that on stage. That's just to show you exactly what I'm doing there. So if you haven't played some of these upstroke kind of riffs, it can be a little bit confusing at first. But once you get the hang of it, you're going to be learning a whole bunch of songs with that because there are just thousands and thousands of songs with that sort of a strum pattern. All right, so we are starting out here in A. And then we're going to be moving up to B, C, D. So that's your seventh fret. Then you're going to go two frets above that, which is F sharp. Zero, one. And then two. Now some of you might be saying, get on with the song, Jag. You're just going over and over and over this strum pattern. It's super important, and beginners do have a lot of trouble, that myself included, back in the day. Notice how I'm putting some clicks in, too, so I go... So whatever works best for you there, as long as you're coming back on the down, that's the main thing. Right there. that whole thing four times, that whole sequence, which is. So that's one iteration of that. You do that four times. Then when you end up on this A chord for the last one, there is going to be your first fret slamming to the second fret. I like to use my third finger because it's much stronger than my second way down here because the nut is right here and the strings are a little bit high. So whatever works best, you can use your second finger or your third. Start 
start singing. This is the Live at Leeds version, by the way, which is slightly different than some of the other versions. So, once you do that intro part, you're going to be back here on the second fret. And you're going to be hammering, like I showed you a second ago, from the first fret to the second fret. And I'm using my first finger to my third finger because my third finger is stronger than my second as far as pressing down way down here close to the bridge. I mean close to the nut. But if you want to use your third finger or second, it doesn't really matter. back to the open G, A, G, D, back to A. So when he starts singing, well, I'm gonna raise a fuss, I'm gonna raise a holler, he goes back to that riff. And it's holding the A chord. Well, I'm gonna raise a fuss and I'm gonna raise a holler. sing the next verse from there and it repeats those riffs. Now when we get to this part, we're on the eighth fret, which is going to be B, C, D, E. And I'm barring all the way across using my pinky on the third string, two frets above my first finger. And I'm doing a good old fashioned shuffle. I'm only using my first finger and my pinky. It looks like I'm using my second and third and fourth, but I'm not. My third finger kind of goes wherever the pinky goes. They're hard to separate. For the summertime blues, and then it goes back to the main riff. So it goes through that first verse, and I believe there's two verses, and then it has a guitar solo. So the guitar solo, the best way to do that, I figured out on this particular tuning, this is a four string. I'm basically barring on that second fret and I'm playing the pentatonic scale. And I'm doing sort of a strum solo, which is a little bit unique. And you can also push up using your first finger on the second fret and your third finger two frets up on the fourth. Now remember, your pinky is going to be on the fifth fret if you play that first string. So here's how it works. Five, two, three, two, three, two, five, two. So there's your pentatonic scale that would work perfectly for that solo. And here's how I do it. I sort of strum this solo. That's how I would do the guitar solo. You're basically barring through that whole solo on the second fret and you're using your pinky. Three frets up. And it's a little tricky to bend unless you've been doing a lot of pinky bends. All right, so I believe it does two verses there and then the solo and then it jumps up a full step. So we're going to be going to the fourth fret and then we're going to be going to the ninth fret and the eleventh. And I believe there's one more verse for that particular chord progression and that's the end of the song. So have fun with that. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my website, jackshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this for 20 years. Can you believe it? Over 4,000 sold. And we'll see you next time.